Hello friends, again fire incident of hospital. Don't you think we have become thick skinned person? Every morning we wake up with some news of fire due to short circuit, death of people. We never learn from the past incidents. We always wait for another accident to happen. Last week fire broke out in Mumbai hospital that, that is shown in the picture. It was shocking and within 2-3 days again four children died in a fire that broke out in pediatric ward of Popal's Kamla Nehru hospital. What is going on? Who is responsible? We are responsible. You are responsible. I am responsible. My society is responsible. Because we don't want to learn. We don't want to learn from past. We wait for another accident to happen. Today I am here to talk about small small things through my video that can to some extent prevent such in incident and accident in future. In that category, the first of all, you should avoid faulty outlet, plug socket and appliances. Aging appliances are very, very dangerous things and we should not use such appliances, such faulty outlet plugs at any place. Second good reason you must have seen what we do, we run our cord, flexible cord under rugs, carpets. Third, what we do, sometimes when you are not able to insert 3 pin plugs in the socket, you remove that th third earth plug, earth pin from the socket of the cord and you used only two cord. It is usual thing. Number four, we use light fixture, high voltage lights then the capacity of fixtures are again the cause of fire. Apart from that, we place some combustible material on the lamp shade, etc. that may ignite due to heat and cause a fire. Next, very important part, extension cord. Extension cord is not a permanent solution, it is a stop gap arrangement for a temporary time. That too with proper Selection, use of space heater, yeah, this is major cause of fire, fire, electrical fire, portable heaters, when you come in the close proximity, when these uh, heats generated by that space heater and there is some combustible material in the vicinity like curtain, beds, clothing couch, rugs, etc. They get fire. Another important factor, wiring, worn out wiring, outdated wiring, under capacity wiring and I would like to emphasize here that 
sometimes we use that aluminum wire and if you go to the physics basic physics if you look at the resistivity and conductivity to carry the same current you need 53% more size to sectional area of your aluminum to carry that much of current but we don't bother about that thing again if you look at the wiring in wiring there are basically uh, two main is is 694 and is 8130 it clearly says about class 2 class 5 if you look at the class 2 class 5 versus comparison if you do that comparison there is a approximately 7.69 percent difference in the resistance offered by class 2 versus class 5 and if you convert that 7 to 8 percent in terms of heat it generates heat but we we are not ready to listen all these things next important point wiring selection wrong selections oblique faulty mccb alcb mcb gfci ground fault circuit interrupter we never select mcb according to the application we just go to market and get the MCB of whatever given by that uh, shopkeeper. We don't understand the capacity of B type, C type MCB and sometimes it fails. We never go, last but not the least, we never go for any kind of inspections, testings and verification of our wiring we never go for testing verification because it is not in our blood to go for the verification and testing and we want our protection system to operate when it is required because we never do the testings of that protection system. We are responsible for all these things happening. Again, the last but not the least, our thing, system, most ignorant subject, we never try to understand the concept of our thing despite IS uh, 732, IS 3043, even CBIP manuals talk about requirement of our thing, many others regulations talk about uh, safety regulations, CA talk about that requirement, but we are least bothered. This is about general concept. Above all, we never go for the protection coordination, we never go for a protection audit. We always, uh, when our systems are giving problem, we bypass the protection system. There is lack of training. There is improper storage of inflammable and combustible material. Lack of resources. We do not have any proper equipment for detection and prevention of fire. Even if they are the present, we never go for refilling of that prevention systems and kind of testing, mock test, once installed and then forget. This was all about for my side because I feel very bad. It gives me pain. You must be getting the same pain that I am getting. We have to come together. 
we have to make pledge together to make our India free of uh, fire. We have to aware ourselves, we have to aware all colleagues, all relatives, all known and we should not wait, wait for another accident to happen. Thank you everyone.